Hey everyone, welcome back. So as usual, every month we go through the games coming out for the Nintendo Switch and I select those that we should keep an eye out on to see if they're worth buying or not. And for the month of March, we actually have a list of 8 games that I want to keep an eye on. Now some of these games are good all-around choices, while others are really for dedicated fan bases. But without further ado, let's get the list started and as usual, we'll be looking at all these games in chronological order of release dates. On March 6th, we have Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Now contrary to the main Pokemon series, in this game you actually play as a Pokemon rather than as a trainer. And rather than being a traditional RPG, it's more of a dungeon crawler with a home base in a Pokemon village. The Pokemon will be giving you different missions and objectives within the dungeon. And basically, if you're a fan of any type of dungeon crawling, this is one you might want to check out. At the same time, there's a demo available on the eShop, so if you're looking at this title and you're sort of on the fence, I seriously recommend you try the demo out and you'll know right away whether this game is for you or not. Next on our list, releasing on March 10th, we have Langrisser 1 and 2 the HD Remaster. The Langrisser is a traditional Japanese strategy RPG series. Now these two games have been completely remastered in HD for the Nintendo Switch with completely updated graphics that make it look somewhat like a mobile game series in the Fire Emblem genre. Now this is another game where the demo is available on the eShop and if you're on the fence or if you've never tried the Langrisser series, try out the demo and you'll know right away whether these games are for you or not. On March 13th, we have My Hero 1's Justice 2. My Hero Academia is one of the hottest anime series out right now. This is a fighting game directly based off of the anime. And for fans of that anime, it will probably be a great pickup, as you get to play with most of the mainstream characters available from the series. However, if you have no idea what My Hero is, Perhaps this game will be better skipped until you're up to date with the anime series because the main draw is to play as those well-known characters. Now March 20th has two releases and the first of those two releases will be Doom 64. Now this is the first time Doom 64 will be offered outside of the Nintendo 64 original release and if you're a fan of the classic game, this is one you will definitely want to pick up. Heck, if you're just a fan of old school gaming, Doom 64 is a not missed title. Now, on March 20th, once again, we have what's perhaps the biggest release of the whole month of March and maybe, for the moment, the biggest release Nintendo has on the slate for 2020, which is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Crossing is a series like no other. You're basically dropped on an island and you have to build yourself a life on that very island. You have to make friends, build a business, make a farm, basically the road is open to whatever you want to do. And if you've never played an Animal Crossing game, well Animal Crossing New Horizons looks like a perfect jumping on point for newcomers. Although this is one of the biggest releases of the month, it's probably also the hardest game to define in itself. It just becomes all-encompassing and will eat up a lot of your time if you jump into this series. Next on our list, on March 27th, we have One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Now this is another game where if you're a fan of the One Piece anime, you probably will have a great time playing through most of the main storyline and skipping also most of the filler. However, if you have totally no idea what One Piece is, this is maybe another game you're going to want to skip as it's really catered towards fans of the series and basically playing through the storyline as the characters that you lo know and love. On 
March 27th, we have another release, Saints Row 4 Re-Elected. Now, Saints Row was already released in Europe, however, this is the first official release in North America, and Saints Row 4 basically has you playing against an alien invasion. You have over-the-top antics, great weapons, and awesome gameplay, all set in an open-world scenario. So, Saints Row 4, if you're a fan of the series, is a definite pickup for any Nintendo Switch fan. Now last and definitely not least on our list on March 31st is Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Now this is a remaster once again but of a GameCube series. And this is a traditional 3D action platformer having you play as a Tasmanian Tiger equipped with a pair of boomerangs. Now if you're a fan of traditional platformers, this is another game right in the same venue as Super Lucky's Tale, which will give you hours of enjoyment and honestly the HD remaster doesn't look bad at all. So, that was quite a list we had for the month of March. With 8 titles to keep an eye on, obviously most of you out there won't be able to buy them all, but as I indicated, some are really catered towards specific fan bases. So keep an eye out on those you really think should be interesting, and as they come out, I'll try and review as many of them as possible. As usual, I'd like to know your thoughts on the list I just presented you all, like for example, are there any games I missed? Or which games do you think you'll be picking up yourself? So as usual, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And as usual, I hope I'll catch you guys in my next video.